Welcome to Rusi File. So I logged on yesterday and actually got myself set up. I've tried a slightly different tact with this survivor than I have on previous survivors on Deer Isle. So instead of sticking around the spawn area and trying to stay dry, I basically ran around the coast and then I um, swam across to what I believe is called Crotch Island. Went down to the little industrial area which has a little military barracks and I'm on my way around the coast now. Uh, to the bridge across towards the mine. I'm hoping this will be a bit of a better start for me, um, less chaotic. Speaking of new starts, it's been roughly 12 months since I started up my Rusty Fail channel again. So thanks to all my new subscribers who've come along for these journeys with me. I'm really enjoying making the videos. I hope you're enjoying watching them. If you are new here, you know, you could consider subscribing to the channel or liking the videos. It really does make a difference and helps get my videos out to other people like you who might enjoy my videos if you click that subscribe and like button. So thanks guys. I hope you enjoy this one. Oh, yep, definitely a mine. Little house here as well. Ooh, someone's been here. Hopefully they're not heaps geared. Yeah, someone's been here. I'd say there's usually a uh, sewing kit in these bears as well. Have been taking the rags wherever I can get them. So I can make some ropes and such out of the rags. Also, I need some hand wraps in this case. So I'm going to make myself a quick set of hand wraps. I was lucky back at the military industrial area. Um, I guess someone wasn't so lucky. There was someone who'd been recently um, killed and cut up in that location, but they'd left the bones behind. So I took all the bones from the body, made myself a couple of hooks, and I've done some fishing and um, cooked up some fish. Got myself into a half decent state, um, but I've still kept the bones because I guess I can use them to make more bone knives or um, more hooks. Ooh. Heli crash nearby. That's actually really close. Must be on top of the mine there somewhere. I've also um, finally succumbed and I'm using the I Survive maps to help me navigate a bit more. It was just getting too hard doing it on my own and I was struggling to, to find enough water more than anything else. Oh! That's really dark. Must be a little trigger, is there? I don't know. Might just boost the brightness for you. Alright. Well, very dark in here. Can barely see where I'm going. I'm not exactly sure what to expect in this mine either. What's this? An opening? Yeah, yeah. Oh. This looks this looks just like one of those military buildings. Crack out my glow stick. Attach it to my bag so I can see where I'm going. Haven't seen anyone around. Although it did look like there was someone at that um house back there previously, but that could have been hours ago for all I know. Nothing in here, but the door was shut. This door's shut too. It's been a few hours since the server restarts, so... I don't think anyone's been down here. Not finding anything. Whoa! Have you got any food? Maybe. Please. No, I must have eaten it all, sorry. I don't think I have anything. Just one piece of food. I'm dying. I've got a fishing rod. Me. I've got a fishing rod. We can go fish if you want to give that a go. Try and catch some food for you. Okay. Can you please? Anything. Yeah, yeah, sure. Hmm. 
Where did you come from? I didn't see anyone here and all of a sudden you're here. This way. I don't know. Where did I swim to? Let me fix my mic. This guy seems okay. He is pretty fresh. Doesn't have anything but that hacksaw from the looks of it. I don't mind. I'll catch some fish for him. Hopefully he'll leave me alone. I still believe that, you know, most people are, are pretty um, decent people on this server. If they don't run up and punch you straight away, they're just trying to survive. Maybe, you know, once I've got inland a bit more and a bit of gear for you, they might try and shoot you, but... I don't mind helping him out. Just need to find somewhere to fish. Hopefully somewhere a bit further down. I'm just going to head further down there where I can fish. He seems pretty keen. It's getting the fire going at least. Give him his fish. See if we can cut it up for him. He's got a stick ready. This is good. Where's my knife? Where's my knife? Did I drop my knife when I was digging up worms? Oh. Has he gotten in close enough? Can he get to my infantry? I don't think so. Anyway. Where did I drop my knife? Can't... No? Oh, it's still on my quick slot. It's still there. Where's it gone? Yeah, I can... What? Ah, uh, what? This is... Oh, idiot. Alright, buddy. I'm gonna go. There's another fish fillet there. Yeah, fun, alright? Take care out there. Thanks, man. Bye. Oh, he got his mic working in the end. So I run on into the mine, and I get lost in these caves, and eventually I come across this ladder, and I figure it must go somewhere, so I give it a go. There has been some gunshots heard while I've been in there. I'm not sure if they're to do with the heli crash I heard before, or if it's maybe the person outside who I gave the fish to. Oh, and it's night time out here, so it's still bloody dark. Can't see where I'm going. Oh, a dam or something. Let's go towards that. I end up spending some time up near the dam there's what appears to be an air traffic control tower a few buildings i can't quite figure it out what it actually is um, but i search around in the dark and i actually go through a server restart in that house that i've just left there and then i um head down to the beach that sounds like the same gun that i heard before I decide that I've had enough of Crotch Island and I might as well check out the other island nearby. This one doesn't seem to have a name on it. But I figure I'll swim across to it and see what this island has to offer. So I made my way through that mine and all the tunnels. Kind of got lost in there for a while, zigzagged round, seemed to go nowhere. Came out to the air traffic control centre. Now I'm heading down to this southern coast here. Trying to find the shortest way across. So this island doesn't seem to have any uh, name to it, but there does appear to be some buildings on it. Mm -hmm. 
Looks like the firefighter jacket doesn't actually get wet. It just gets damp, which is pretty good. It's a pretty big swim for it not to get wet. So I sneak on up towards the town. There doesn't appear to be any wells on this island. So I'm not sure how long I'll stay here. Because I do need to get some water. And I don't have any chlorine tablets either. Or a bottle. Bottles seem really hard to come by on this server. This looks like completely different architecture than I've seen before on DayZ. I'm not sure if that's a player built structure on the front of that house or if it's part of the thing. It's kind of cool. No, I don't think that's player built. I think that's just the architecture of the house. That's cool. Alright, let's uh, have a bit of a scavenge, see what loot's around. Oh, that's cool. That's a raft. I know this server is meant to have watercraft on it. I haven't seen anything, but oh, I can't interact with this. This might just be part of the server. Um, multivitamins. I am pretty cold and my hydration is yellow, so I might as well just take one, try and stave off a cold. I guess I might as well see what else this island has to offer. Doesn't look like there's a lot here. Oh, little skelly. <laughs> Is that a, yeah, it looks like there's a gun or a buttstock there or something. Looks a little grotesque, but anyway. No, I can't seem to pick it up. I don't know if I'm meant to be able to or not. I wonder if this was his raft. I'm guessing that was his raft and I don't know why I just didn't swim. It wasn't that hard to swim over here. Anyway, maybe you can't swim. Let's go see. Oh, a whole heap of food. Melons and grains. No, I can't pick any of it up. Well, that's disappointing. All that food and nothing to eat. There's a whole heap more. What do we got? It's like shells and apples and grains and more melons and potatoes and oh so much food but you can't you can't pick any of it up and there's nothing there I wonder if anything spawns on them seems very odd hey potatoes I head off and I search my way through all the other buildings in this little town we brisket spread that's pretty good hey brisket spread Brisket spread? What's going on? Hey, more brisket spread! This is crazy! Every house has brisket spread in it. Well, uh, can't really live off of that, so... Do a bit more fishing, because that'll help get my hydration levels back up. Um, I catch three or four different fish here. And then I decide to start making a fire. And I notice there's meat hanging here as well, so... Can't do anything with that either, but... Very odd. Lots of food. Looks like there should be lots of food on this island, but brisket spread and fish seems to be about all that it's got to offer. So, I sit down, dry out my clothes, have a bit of a fish. Oh, what's that? Is that a bear? Got to keep an eye out. Yeah, there's something over there. I'm not sure if I like this island anymore. is it? Is it just going to run up and get me? I'm not even sure if it is a bear. Sometimes pigs sound a bit funny, but it sounds more like a bear than a boar. I sit by the fire and cook the rest of my food. Uh, and I eat as much of it as I can before I settle down and actually log off for the night. I log in the next day and I just lie here for a moment or two and I'm listening just in case there's any other players around. Can't hear anyone. I don't think many people come out here. There's not enough food, there's no well, there was no sign of any structures. Yeah, 
Yeah, it looks like I'm in the clear. Oh! Yeah, that's definitely a bear. Are you serious? Like, there's an island in the middle of nowhere and it's just got an angry bear on it. I'm not sure if this place is for me. I might just quickly loot around town and then try and get out of here. So I looted my way all through town, found a bit more brisket spread and that was about it. I decided to swim back across to the main part of the map. But before I head off, I eat my briskets. It would be a pretty cool island if you had a few people. Um, and maybe a boat so you could actually head off, but... I haven't found any watercraft that I can use yet, so I'm getting pretty good at swimming. This server does have an auto run feature and I thought why does it need an auto run feature? Who runs everywhere? And then um, I started swimming and I realised that yeah it's not really an auto run feature. It's more of an auto swim. So anyway this is where I'm headed. I've headed back down the southern coast and I'm heading back across towards Stonington. Swam out to the middle and it's deadly quiet. I say farewell to my little island and I head off towards Stonington and the next adventures. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end guys. It means a lot to me. If you enjoyed that video and you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. There's still time before the end of this video. Don't forget to hit that like button as well. It really does make a difference and lets other YouTube users know that you enjoyed the video so other people like you can find it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.